what happens if you disconnect the two halves of the brain? You see, sometimes when people have a type of epilepsy known as grand mal seizures, and it's intractable, meaning you've tried a lot of different treatments and nothing seems to work, one of those last resort sort of palliative treatments that can be used is something called a corpus callostomy, where you will sever the corpus callosum, which is basically some tracts of white matter that connect the two hemispheres of the brain in order to prevent the you know, electrical activity from spreading to, from one hemisphere to the other. And when people do that, when they disconnect the two hemispheres of the brain, something very interesting happens. The person almost seems to develop two different personalities. And sometimes what can happen is because, you know, your two hemispheres of the brain, their activity is no longer integrated, and that includes things like motor activity. Sometimes what happens is that the person almost seems to end up fighting with themselves. You know, there's some very interesting anecdotes and stories about a case where someone had a corpus callostomy and then with one hand they're trying to strangle someone and with their other hand it's trying to stop them from doing that. So it almost seems like when you split the brain, you almost get two personalities.